kids. I don't know if this is the best time for you to be here. I'm kind of in the middle of something. You see, today when I got to church, I found out that one of our toilets is clogged. Has that ever happened to you at your house? It can be a smelly, dirty mess. And you don't want to keep flushing the toilet because then the water can overflow and get all over the floor. And that would make an even bigger mess, wouldn't it? You need a special tool to deal with that dirty job. And that tool is called a toilet plunger. It's a dirty tool that helps you with a very dirty job. You need that toilet plunger to plunge away the clog in your toilet and then your toilet will be good as new. You know, when I think about it, the toilet plunger reminds me of something we have at church and that is the cross. Now, when you think about the cross, sometimes you think about a pretty necklace or a beautiful wooden cross like the one that we have in our sanctuary. But in Jesus's time, the cross was a very dirty tool, kind of like our toilet plunger. But that is what God used to do something important in our lives. God used the cross to help unclog the sins that we have in our lives. When Jesus died on the cross and three days later rose again on Easter morning, the Bible tells us in Psalms 51, seven, that he will wash us and make us whiter than snow. Only God can use a dirty tool like the cross to make us clean. Would you fold your hands and pray with me? Dear God, thank you so much for the cross. Thank you for using the cross to help us unclog the sin in our lives. In your name we pray, amen. Well, kids, I need to get back to work. This toilet's not gonna unclog itself. <laughs>